Terra Viva, a checkup on the environment. Those who think that Indian ashrams are mainly isolated religious schools don't know Muniseva in the village of Goraj in Gujarat. It's more of a community using science, technology and green businesses to drive its social mission. Behind this revolution is Dr. Patel, who runs the ashram, and Deepak Gadia, chairman and mentor of one of India's leading solar system manufacturers. The ashram partners the company, and Deepak is one of the ashram's trustees. Because of hospital, we have large energy needs. So, and it's a recurring and continuous expense. And that's how I thought that uh, green and renewable energy, what they call, is perfect match for us because being an NGO, when we install something, we get enough funds. But for uh, recurring expenses, every year we go to donors and they feel that, oh, why every year we have to pay for it. We never thought it's ever going to be a business. We started as an NGO and uh, then because we didn't want to be an NGO dependent on government funding or on philanthropist donations, so we started our company. And we thought of supplying systems which would help us to finance our NGO. And to our surprise, this business has grown. The ashram has been exploiting natural resources for years. The latest investment has been in the last few months, a pilot solar conditioning plant. It joins the existing biomass system that still requires five to 6,000 kilos of wood per day to produce the 700 tons of air conditioning required by the hospital. Harnessing the sun means saving 1,000 kilos of wood every day. So totally we have 1,250 square meter of reflector and the light is reflected onto a heat exchanger to generate steam and that steam is sent to our air conditioning plant and we are doing 100 ton which is about 350 kilowatt air conditioning for our hospital. The ashram's first renewable energy project was a biogas plant built about 20 years ago. Cow dung mixed with water ferments in tanks and turns into methane gas or biogas used in the kitchens. Even the slur is used to produce organic fertilizers. Well, this biogas, with about 160 animals we have, is giving us 60 cubic meter of biogas per day. And uh, that is sufficient to be used in over five of our kitchens for cooking. And each kitchen we cook for about 100 to 150 people. At Muni Seva, either they cook with biogas or with the sun. Five pairs of parabolic dishes are used to reflect light. These heat up oil to 250 degrees centigrade, which is enough to cook for 500 children. And when the sun doesn't shine because oil warms up to a very high temperature, the heat can be stored in insulated tanks. We have two dishes of 10 square meter reflecting light onto one heat exchanger in the focus. So now the light is falling from two sides on the heat exchanger. The temperature in the focus is 550 degrees centigrade. The cold oil comes into the focus in the heat exchanger. Because of the high temperature, it gets heated and then goes to the kitchen. It gives away the heat and come back. The green way of living has helped Muni Seva Ashram to develop sustainably. Today, this community has a cancer hospital, a cutting-edge technology research center, a shelter for old people, an orphanage, a center for mentally disabled girls, and several schools. Many more projects are to come. By next year, this community plans to become 100% renewable.